What's happening guys? I'm back with another video and in this topic right now I got a red pill rant that I want to get off to you guys, get it off my chest because it's just something I'm thinking about today these make some of the best videos most of the time so I just want to share my thoughts with you guys in general about life and stuff like this and just the way I see certain things so I'm just going to dive right into this um, Something I figured out about myself, and that I knew for a long time, but even looking back when I was young, I'm, I was very similar to what I am now. Just a younger person, less experience, less knowledge. I'm a lot of the same of what I always was, apart from what I just mentioned. But when it comes to me, what attracts me is what's real. Real things is what I'm attracted to. And with that being said, <clears throat> I didn't always attract real things into my life simply because I got tricked. I got tricked by certain females that made me believe that what was happening was real and there are very good people out there in this world there are con artists out there that can trick you into just about anything to get their way with you short term but then you figure them out that's why sometimes these individuals will discard you first because they know they are not what you're looking for but they still want you so they'll use you up for whatever they need you for until they have to discard you because you will figure them out and that's just the truth about that situation but like I said I'm attracted to real and what I'm not attracted to is fake real attract real fake attract fake and I'm gonna use this as an example so you see these girls these younger girls at the clubs and stuff like this on a Saturday night shaking their ass. They wear tight pants, they go around the clubs, they're shaking their ass. You know what? These girls, are these girls are fake and they attract what is fake. They're either gonna attract beta male simps that are just thirsty or they're gonna attract guys that are just simply gonna take advantage of them. In other words, they're fuckboys. So, what do they attract? Fake, because they're fake. They're not going to attract something real. They're not going to attract a guy like me or anything close to a guy that is anything like me or similar. These girls do not attract these guys. Um, and I'm not saying it's impossible. Anybody can be tricked. Anybody can be fooled. I was fooled by good looks before and a charm. Because I just believed it was real. I didn't think people were that fake. But there are, that, there are people in this world that are that fake. So, even a good guy can get fooled. Even a person that is real can be fooled. But if they knew the situation for what it really was, they would not go through with the situation they were in with this specific person. That's just the truth about that. And I'm going to tell you guys what I'm not attracted to. Just, just what I explained. I'm not attracted to these young girls, even girls that are in between the age of 20 and 25, that are in these clubs wearing tight pants, doing everything they can to get attention, shaking their ass, trying to get everybody else's attention. I'm very unattracted to females like this. Why? Because I know they're fake. Even if they're super good looking and they have potential, I still know they're fake. And I don't want to deal with a female like that. And neither should any of you guys. So. That that does not impress me. You don't impress me. I don't know I don't know what's going on in these girls' heads, but you're not impressing nobody, and your time soon will come. And all these shenanigans that you're pulling off will come to an end. And you will fall hard on your face. 
because you wasted all your time, you wasted all your life, you did all this hot girl summer bullshit, and for all that hot girl summer bullshit equals a lifetime of pain and regret. That's what some of these girls don't understand. They, they actually believe in their head they're winning in this moment. They actually believe in their heads that they're winning in this moment and they're going to win in the future. And it's so far from the truth. Because you are not winning in this moment because you're going after temporary shit. You know what's hilarious? These girls that like to party and even these guys, it's the, it's the exact same thing the other way around. These people that like to party to live these short-lived moments, what are you going to do with your life whenever this night is over? What are you doing with your life when you were living for the weekends and you were spending two to four hours at a nightclub or maybe even less? And you put your entire life and being into this one moment, this one short-lived moment, and then you have to live with yourself on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then you might get start you might start to get excited on Friday or something like this. You're living for such short term pleasures that it is eating you alive. That is why you're not happy. That's why you're a fake person. Cause you live for this shit. It's all you can do. It's all you know how to do. That's why your life is shit. That's why your life in the future is going to be shit. And anybody that takes this path, I'm sorry to say. Actually, you know what? I'm not sorry to say. Because I'm not sorry. But your life is going to be shit. Do something about it. Do something about your stupid ass decisions that you think is so smart right now. Do you understand what you're doing to yourself? you understand that you're spending all your time doing all this bullshit just to get attention, just to be validated, just to feel important because you're not putting in the work on yourself to feel important. You have no self-validation. You can't validate yourself. You need it from other people. Why? Because you're insecure. You can't work on yourself. You don't have confidence in yourself. Because you're living for other people. You're living for other people's expectations and all this other hocus pocus bullshit. But it's the truth. It's the truth. And I don't take a, I don't take a damn word back of what I said. Because it's the truth. You see, people like this hate people like me. Why? Because we expose them. We may have lived like this when we were a lot younger. There's no goddamn excuse to continue this childish behavior in your 20s, your mid 20s, your late 20s. Are you serious right now? Like, are you serious? If you're a young kid, you're only going to be young once. You're still immature. You're still emotionally immature. You get a pass. But you continue this dumbass behavior when you're 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and so on. You're, you're a joke. Like, what are you doing with your life? You're living all these short-lived moments. If you want to be the part... You have to start putting in the work. If you want to be real, you have to surround yourself with some real shit. If you want to attract real people, you have to be real. You have to start doing real shit, like putting in real work. Paying attention and surround your mindset with real people, not the fake. This will put you in direct alignment with realness. This is all I did since I was like 19. I lived a bullshit life up until I was 18 years old. And when I say a bullshit life, I mean 
I still had fun when I was young, but it was still bullshit. Because I didn't, I didn't do anything. I didn't really get anything done. I made money. I made a good amount of money even when I was young, but <clears throat> I could have done a lot better. But like I said, I was only young once. I did what I did. I had no knowledge, no understanding. You really gotta. You really gotta do what you gotta do to catch some sort of flame of momentum. You have to start doing the right things when you turn to an adult. I remember, like it was yesterday, the day I turned 19. Something just hit me that day. It's like holy shit. Like I'm 19 now. I'm of legal age. Where I come from in Canada, you can buy alcohol at 19. It's like, damn. Like, I'm a grown-ass adult right now. And when that, when this day came, on June 12th, I instantly changed. Look at yourself, look at your age, and look at what the hell you are doing with your life. That should be enough motivation for you right there. To stop doing such childish, stupid shit. You want to look pretty. You want to be pretty. You you wanna you wanna do all these things. You want to be accepted. You want to be validated. Validate your damn self. Work on your damn self and have that confidence within yourself. Cause now you're gonna attract real people because you are now real. You see how this works? This is what it is. <clears throat> but no mm -mm. they don't want to do that though why because it takes work they don't want to work for shit they just want to scurry along like a bunch of little rats and do whatever they want to do cause a ruckus cause a mess cause messes in other people's lives because they're doing people dirty and all this other bullshit you can stay down there and you can do that all you want but just understand that you guys truly are the jokes. You guys truly aren't about shit. And you never will be until you change your goddamn behavior. It's time to man up. It's time to woman up and grow up. You're an adult now. It's time to stop taking your ass to that club. Wasted. White girl wasted. Those hot girl summer times. It's, it's done now. Get your shit together and do what you know you have to do. Do what's right. And doing what's right is not always easy. But you're in a new stage of life now. Go. Go.